Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's a prequel to the movie Monsters, Inc. called Monsters University. Now before I get to that film, I always did enjoy the first movie, Monsters, Inc. when I first saw it back in 2001, and I really enjoyed it ever since. You know, with Mike and Sully, you know, working together as a team, just going around scaring all the little kids inside a working factory, and no matter how many monsters they have, and then suddenly they meet a little girl named Boo. You know, that was cute. It was definitely one of the best Pixar movies I've seen since Toy Story and A Bug's Life. It, was, it turned out to be one of my biggest favorites of all, before all the other films came along. But Monsters University, on the other hand, is a lot different from the first movie because this is supposed to take you back to when they first started. So that's what we're going to get to right now. Anyway, it stars, stars Billy Crystal, John Goodman, along with Steve Buscemi, Helen Murr, Peter Saul, Joe Murray, Sean Hayes, Charlie Day, David Foley, Alfred Melinda, and Nathan Fillion. The movie begins when a monster named Mike Wazowski, who was six years old at the time, had visited Monsters Incorporated on a school field trip. During his visit, he meets an employee named Frank McKay, who works as a scarer, entering the human world to scare kids at night. And before anybody can stop him, he watches his performance. So then we learn that this would have been Mike's true dream as a scarer and his goal to enter this place in order to become one. So apparently 11 years later, Mike is a scare major at Monsters University and on his first day he meets his new roommate Randall Boggs, aka Randy, who is a nerdy monster that can turn himself invisible. And once he entered his first class, Mike was about to answer all the questions until he was interrupted by a large blue monster named J.P. Solomon, a.k.a. Solly. So unfortunately, the class was also informed by Abigail Harpscrabble, who was the strict dean of the SCARE program. So they must pass their final exam of the semester to continue the program. Mike had to study really hard in order to earn that major. Unfortunately, he was disqualified along with Sully. So in order to finally prove his game, he decided to join the Scare Games with the help of a team known as Ozma Kappa. And eventually Sully joined into the Glee to, to compete against other teams in order to him to become the biggest scarer of all. Both Mike and Sully started to hate each other as it follows. But of course, with all this competition that was going around, they soon learned that you know, no matter what happens, they will always become the best buds. So that's what the movie was all about. And I gotta admit, it's not as good as the first Monsters, Inc., but I have to admit, it was good for a prequel to actually happen, because I was really looking forward to seeing this movie when it was first announced. And I think to myself that after the first movie, why can't a movie like this get a sequel? Because I know a lot of movies nowadays, I mean, no matter how many Pixar movies that we're getting these days, at least Toy Story was good enough to have a sequel because they wanted to follow the entire story about what's going to happen later in life. You know, and how, how they're going to move on after Annie was growing up. So that was good. That's why I love all three of the Toy Story movies. But Monsters Incorporated, though, was a great choice for a movie to watch. And it had a great story about what it was going to be like. How they were going to turn the whole Monsters Under the Bed in a whole new direction. And that was a good choice. Um, I always loved Mike and Sully. You know, they were a great team together. And I think they really worked. I didn't even know for the fact that this was going to happen uh, in the prequel. But it really did. So... It was a lot different than I thought. Um, there were other characters that I really did enjoy. Um, there were some weak ones that I didn't care for, but that's okay, because 
it outweighs that. Um, there were great moments when they knew they were going to try so far to succeed, and yeah, once again they always failed miserably. But at least they they tried so hard in order to win, and they got what they got. But it was good to see some cameos that were in the first movie, so that was a good choice. But I still love Monsters Inc. because Monsters Inc. was still one of the best animated films of all time. And it's always been my favorite. You know, I collected the, the soundtrack and the DVDs, which I've yet to get on Blu-ray someday if I ever do when the sequel comes, because uh, I know I like to see all the features. And another problem was there, there wasn't even a real villain in this movie. I know Randy was in, in the first movie, but there wasn't any single villain in this movie whatsoever. Other than those, the competitors that were seen, I was expecting that teacher they had in the movie was supposed to be the villain. And it would have made sense, but that I didn't understand. But I guess you know they wanted to become a lot different than what most Pixar movies were. And they had a different director this time, so they didn't have Peter Doctor directing this like he did in the first movie. So I guess that's a new change of pace. But that's okay. But other than that, though, I, I really enjoyed Monsters University. It's a very good movie. I had a long time trying to see this movie for myself, but I finally did. But it was a good start. I just hope this movie gets nominated for an Oscar. Out of all the other movies out there, which I don't think it hasn't been that great. I love The Crudes, though, and The Despicable Me, too. But I think Monsters University you know, definitely deserves a chance. Because um, there hasn't been that many good movies out there. That's for sure. But it's definitely worth recommending uh, for those who really enjoy Monsters, Inc. I know I did, so yeah. Anyway, I give Monsters University five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.